Hey guys, this is Pink of the Housewife. I'm getting ready to uh, shoot. Uh, I'm getting ready to uh, uh, shoot another tour of a house that's going to be coming up. All right. Uh, today is Monday. I just got back from physical therapy. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and shoot this house. I don't have on, I got on my Reeboks, so, but I don't have on my pretty boots, but I'm still going to walk through it because it's not wet, it's not muddy, uh, but it's going to rain. So let me just say this. Uh, make sure you hit the, uh, the like button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. Okay, I need that in order to keep showing more homes. Also, uh, everything is alleged. This is my opinion, my opinion only, okay? And the video I'm making is for education and entertainment purposes only. Just in case if I need to talk about somebody. And I'll put my disclaimer up later. Come on, uh, this is another home. And if you can see also behind me, I got another one here. Uh, I'll do this one later. I'll do this one uh, probably tomorrow. I got physical therapy again tomorrow, so I will do this one tomorrow. Okay, guys? But we're going to go ahead and turn this way. Um, we're going to walk into this one. Did you lock your car? So oh. we're going to have to. If you can look on both sides, turn to both sides. These are the garages. And let me just say, I don't like homes when they're built like this with the two front garages right in front of your door because this would be your driveway right in front of your door. So, uh, uh, and it looks like they may just have one driveway coming in. In order to, for this to work on a real basis, you would have to have a circular driveway, and there's no, and I would, just me personally, because I know about homes and building homes, but I'm not a builder. I'm a housewife, I'm not a builder. You would have, you're on an acreage lot, uh, on acreage. Push these back, if you're gonna do this, push this back, push both of them back. You don't have them this close. And then, this is your front porch. This is your front porch. Say that. Look, I'm stretching my legs out. This is one. I'm at the door. Too small. Too small of a front porch. But I like this part coming in. I love this. This is what you call a foyer. I love this part coming in. Some people, depends on what part of the country or where you live, you may say foyer. But this is what you call a foyer. Uh, I love this part coming in. If you look up, there's going to be a huge chandelier hanging from the top. And it's a big, and I like it because it, it's more of a square. I love this because the show is more of a square. And then you got the stairs coming in. And you all know I always fuss about staircases when they're too small. It spreads out from here, then as it goes up, it gets smaller. Builders, that's a no no. But I know why you all do it. You do it because that's how you all save money. Then you charge the, per the uh, person that's having a home built or buying the home, still the same place. You charge them over, it's an over place, but still it gets smaller and smaller as you go up. When you got big furniture, million dollar homes don't have box furniture. 
from Walmart or Target. They do big furniture. How you gonna, you're gonna have to have a lot of people trying to get that furniture and scrape up your walls. But I love this foyer. I love it. This just looks like it's gonna be a uh, a study. This this is probably the study here. And how I can tell this is a study. You got to know your homes. To know when you walk into an unfinished uh, build, what it, it is. I love this bay window. They got these big bay windows here. I love this. It's not big and mine's standard, but I like it. It's bay windows. This is the hallway that takes you out to the garage. This is a little mud, mud room. I'm thinking this is probably going to be the mud room. And if you don't know about a mud room, this is where you would have a bench here and you have hooks, you hang up your jackets and your coats and you uh, sit down and you take off your shoes here. Then you got a little window here. But this, oh gosh, this is a tiny garage. This is what, this is a two car garage, so they're gonna have four car, four car garages. There's two over here, two over there, and a door that go out. But this is a, this is what they, I call a standard garage. But to me, it's small, it's tiny. Okay, I would say when we first built out the first, maybe first home, we had standard uh, garages, and I don't think we ever had them since then. Uh, we always did oversized, over big, because we have big, big, big SUVs, big cars, big, big uh, monster trucks and stuff. So we buy, we build oversized, very high, because the, when the monster trucks come in, they're already up. You can't even get in. The tires are already up to here. And you have to have, and then they, oh Lord, it's just too much to explain. They got two windows there. A hallway with a big picture window. Now Marshall, this is a window. This is a big picture window. This is what you, you should have put in that little tiny house of yours. Maybe not this big, but some, some type of window. The little tiny house that you remodeled, that you did a bad job on, fix those steps, Marshall. The paint is coming off those white steps. Those steps coming out your front door, they was there. Uh, those steps look like they probably about over 50 years old they've been there. You need to remove those steps. Don't paint the red bricks white. The paint that look like out, uh, indoors paint, the paint is coming off and then on the right, left side, when you're coming down the steps, there's two bricks completely broken off and there's one that's cracked off. You need to fix that. Just my, and put a window in that front, okay? Let me know when you fix it. Or if you don't know how to fix it, let me tell you, I can uh, talk to you about how to fix that and then what type of paint that you need, okay? Not indoor paint. This looks like a, looks like it's gonna be a pantry. This is a pantry. And they got a little window in the pantry. Not bad. This is gonna be, I can tell just by walking in it. This is gonna be the kitchen. And this is your hookup for your, um, your alley. And this is probably where the, uh, your sink and everything is gonna be. You got to know those things. How you can tell, guys, you look at the uh, plumbing and how they got things. That gives you clues. Marcel, you should have told people that. This is got oh, big picture window. Now, this is what you call a window, Marcel, not those little tiny things you're talking about you're a window guy and you don't even have windows in your own house. You still got the same old windows. Those windows are too old. That house was real old, so the windows probably are outdated. I ain't no probably, they are outdated. And not, probably don't even meet up the code, but you didn't want to take them out. But uh, this is a window. This is where the sink is gonna be. That's gonna be your alley here. This is gonna be your alley. That's, uh, let me see what's here. It's some more plumbing. Let me see. More plumbing. So you can tell this is where the uh, main stuff for you to do all your washing, your dishwasher, and all this. Is. Oh, the dishwasher going to be there. Um, and they're going to have the Allen right here in the center of the floor. Uh, this is what you call your great room. They're going to have a pillar, a big pillar here. A big pillar. That's probably going to be cute. It's probably gonna be cute. And I would think it was gonna be square because they look like 
they got a lot of uh, square, uh, square uh, uh, lines here. There's probably going to be a, in sort of a round pillar, probably a square pillar, because I'm looking at the way they got everything built. Coming in, the door out, everything is squared off, the inside coming in. Oh, you okay, baby? Mm -hmm. Something that I don't want to hear. This is the fireplace. Oh my God, this fireplace is small. Look at it. It's like a little, little, look how small that is. You're going to do a million dollar house, and then you're going to do a fireplace this small. This is, now, this is not criticism. This is ridiculous. This is crazy. There's no way I'm going to do a fireplace this small. It's going to be a tall, but look at me. Look at that. I'm going to show you a fireplace when I get to my house. I'm going to show you what a fireplace looks like. So this is your great room or your family room, the main room. And they're going to have overhead where this is upstairs. Uh, up here is where they're going to be able to look down or you can look up. I'm not going up here. This is under the staircase. So under the staircase, they're going to make a, a, a closet in here. It's not going to be a bathroom. That's going to be a closet. This is going to be a bathroom, a tiny bathroom, but it's a bathroom. Uh, it's just going to be a, a powder bath. Boy, it's so tiny. Shoot. I, I don't want to walk through this mud because I got on my uh, Reebok, so we're just going to walk through the wall. This is uh, a bathroom. This is probably going to be the master bedroom. This is probably, and the reason why I say that, because this is a huge, this is going to be a garden tub. The sinking, it's going to be a shower. I mean, not a garden tub, a shower with a bench on it, and it's going to be down. That's why you said fill in like that. And then they're going to have a, oh Lord, a little sink, uh, not a sink, a little toilet there. Oh, this is too tiny. Oh, this is too tiny. Oh, no, that's the toilet there. So if that's the toilet, this must, this don't make no sense. That's the shower. You can't put a tub here because that's just, they just, oh gosh, that's your toilet. And that toilet space is small. I have two, I have six toilets in my house. Okay, six total to toilets. And every toilet toilet space is huge. This is the uh, coming into the master. Damn, this is small. I don't know. This is just some messed up mess. This is tame. These rooms are tame. They so small, I don't even know what the fuck they are. This is... Uh, Another bedroom. I know this is a bedroom. This must be a master bedroom. It can't be. This is small as fuck. Oh my God. Got some big, beautiful windows. Uh, something bit you, baby girl? Want me to rub it? We're almost done because uh, these rooms are tiny as hell. Look at this small room. Lord of mine.
be a little closet. This is gonna be a sliding closet. Well, you got two doors, sliding closet. This is a bedroom. Big, I love the fact that they got big, beautiful windows. But my thing of big, beautiful windows, I don't like windows this high. My windows at home, they come down in here and they go all the way up. I don't just have it up there. My windows come down to the, and they go all the way up. So that's the closet of room, but it's small as hell. This is the, the bathroom, small, because that's the shower. That's the, uh, your toilet. So your toilet, you right by your uh, shower. Uh, you ain't got enough room in there. So if we go through this door, there's another tiny. I hate these tiny hallways. Look, I'm a small person. But look, look how small this is. I don't mean to talk about your house, but this is small. This for a million, about a million, four million five. This is this is uh, probably more than that. But I know it's more than that. But you can't find the uh, the the when we bought our uh, property. I think it was five five hundred thousand just to buy the land, to put the house on. And I know this is more because this one this this one costs more because then it went up. Another tiny room. We're gonna go. Another tiny room. Another tiny room. Oh, this is the garage, guys. This is the garage with uh, windows at the garage. We're getting ready to go, guys. Thank you. Make sure you all do one thing for me. I'm gonna uh, stand up and look. Make sure you do one thing for me. Uh -uh. Okay. Make sure you uh, hit the like button. Make sure you uh, hit, hit the like button. Make sure you uh, subscribe to my channel. And make sure you uh, leave me a comment. Okay? Don't forget to comment. And you can drop me a cash app too. Just in case. I have to replace these, uh, my Reeboks from coming in here.